Hello. It's your episode now. Welcome to episode six of the SNT podcast. You been alright, Sam? Not bad, mate. Not bad. <laughs> nice and full, just had some nice lunch. How you find in isolation? Slowly going mad, mate. Slowly going mad. But uh, it's alright. It's not It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. So, Sunday. Yeah. A key Sunday in the calendar. Yeah. It's Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. Yeah. It's a day to celebrate all mothers. Good and bad. Yeah, good and bad. <laughs> um, and so, I want you to tell me what you think the best and worst movie mothers are. So the worst mums and the best mums in movies. Okay. I mean, the best mum I could think of is not actually... It's not mum as a dad. Really? I was thinking Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Uh, because isn't a nanny? He's a nanny, but go on. Let's, oh, dear child. let's, let's spare oh, technicalities. Right, right, right. Just think of you know what he goes through to uh, to change into his mum. To you know to to be with his kids. It's an emotional movie. It's just a woman. Yeah. Not not really a movie mum. Thinking about it. No, I get you. We mean no. I get you. We mean it's like there's a motherly. Okay. Yeah. A motherly character. If you if you want one that's actually a mum, I would say. I forget the name of the character, but Winona Ryder in Stranger Things. Who? Winona Ryder, the actress. We know. We know who. <laughs> Winona Ryder. So she is the mum of uh, the the main kid in Stranger Things. Can't remember his name. Billy. Billy's mum. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. Now. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it is yeah. Billy, isn't it? She uh, follows the lights. Yeah. 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 Because I mean, she, everyone thinks she's mental. Crazy. She's yeah. just trying to get her son back. And fucking god. She. She. She's Lost pretty good. She. she has. Yeah. She, she, she gets her son back though. She does because she's a good movie mum. That's yeah, why. Yeah, Even that's yeah. not a movie, it's a TV series, but it doesn't matter. Well, at least she goes looking for her son. Yeah. So she gives Some, a fuck. Someone who doesn't go looking for her son is Mrs. McAllister from Home Alone. <laughs> oh yeah, she is the worst movie mum. Kevin, we'll go away anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we send the police to the house? Nah. I'm sure he's alright. Yeah, I'm sure he's alright. He's only five and he's fine. How the hell did that even she even go over? Did she not that, look in a loft that film, for a kid? Especially two, her own two, is brutal. What Joe Pesci gets put well, through. That's the thing. She does it twice. That's how shit she is. Yeah. Kid, kid hell. Oh, you know, she'll be like, yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a kid. Don't send the police. Don't send the police. It's all right. Jesus Christ. Oh, the kids are, yeah, yeah, they're all there. Uh, you sure? Yeah, yeah, they're all there. Yeah, we've only got one. Yeah. <laughs> kid hell. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to think of good movie mums. <laughs> good movie mums that will inspire us. Um, I'll but, tell you I'll tell you who is another bad movie mum as well. You know It? Yeah. You know, as the kid who's really, really... I can't remember the name. She's like a big scaredy cat and his mum's really like overprotective. Yeah. She's just fucking shit. She's a fucking <laughs> monster. She's like Jabba the Hutt. She does. She's a bad movie mum. I'll tell you someone who's... Uh, you watch Black Mirror, right? You yeah. say about Black Mirror. There's one where a mum gets paranoid about the activities of her daughter, and so oh yeah, she gets implants, the tracker, the tracker yeah, 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 and yeah. you can see through the eyes of your kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when she grows up to have obviously be more of a teenager, she sleeps around and yeah. gets some drugs, and she that. sees it, and she gets paranoid, and she ends up killing herself. Yeah, I remember that. Black Mirror is pretty good. Yeah, it is. it's a bit mucked up, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, good some mums. bad movie mums. Yeah, good mums. Got to live with them, you? Got to live with them. Indeed. <clears throat> right. We're, this is going to be a complete trial. All right. Okay. It's going to be a trial game. Bring it. Hunger game. No, it's not. Um, right. So this game is going to be a bit random, right? It might be shit. <laughs> right. We'll it's, find out. This we'll could find out. possibly be the shittest game I've ever made on the spot. Okay. okay. The game is called Captain Look. Captain Look. All right. Oh. As a quote from Star Wars. Captain Look. I've just missed out the shields bit. All right. So, Sam, in front of you, I've got some post-it notes, all right? Okay. Try, right. Not, try not to read the shitty right on top. Okay. Hieroglyphics. The idea is, right, I need you to imagine that me and you are stuck on an aircraft. Okay, right. Or, or st- stuff, stuck in a space station together, yeah. right? And we're going to try and make conversation. We're going to take turns sparring. In, in conversation to try and come up we're, so we're going to make a story up based on so I've basically put words on post-it notes 
I've, 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 I've put five random words right. on these post-it notes. There are six post-it notes. Okay. okay. You can decide which one to pick at any time, right? But the idea is... I, I don't look at it. I just pick one at random. Yeah, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to pick a post-it note at random. When you look at it, you can pick whatever word you want to bring up next as part of a conversation which me and you are having on an imaginary space station. Okay. And we're going to try and make a conversation based on the words... So you've got, to, you've got to use a word as a topic, right? So we're going to try and continue a conversation on based on the bullshit I've written on these post And how does someone win? You could win by continuing the conversation. Okay, if, you fa- if you fail to continue a conversation based on an object that you've picked. Okay. So, right. so do you mean? You have, to, you have to go through every... So I'd say, oh, it's nice weather. And the next next word would be placemat. Be like, yeah, it's nice weather. It's a good, good day for a tea. I've got a good placemat I bought from... Uh, oh, and my I, and God. I'd, and I'd make it... And you've got to try and use the word... That I've put here on these post-it notes. All right. right, I'm open-minded. All right, okay. Sounds, sounds shit, but let's give it a so, go. So let's, just, <laughs> so let's just pick a... It is, it is going to be shit. Let's just pick a post-it note, right? All right, okay. So, again, I looked at them for two seconds before I actually folded these up, all right? So did a child write these? Yes. Can you read it? Yeah, I can read it. Right, so... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we're stuck on a space station, right? It's abandoned. We don't know what's going on. Everyone's dead. Right. All right. Okay, and we're reading post-it notes, yeah? And we, yeah, yeah. So um, we're going to continue a conversation right. between each other, and it's going to be hard, right? So you have to go through all five. But you can pick any five, You can pick one at any time. Okay, right. But once you do, you finish post-it notes, pick enough post-it up, if, and it's, it's basically we're going to try and get to the end, having a conversation based on what picks. <laughs> all right, so... So I'll start You're us like off. Lying, right. Are you? right, so no. Shit. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll have a go, we'll have a go. Right, well, we may end up cutting episode six completely out. Right, so right. I'll start us off, right? So we're abandoned. So just to give us a synopsis. We're abandoned on a space station, we don't know what's happened, people are dead. Okay. Right? So to get out of it we need to Conversation. Have a conversation. Yeah, of course. About what yeah. we're the fuck we're gonna do, right? All right. Oh, so we have to be in character. No, but we can, you can pretend to be in character. We're just two blokes stuck on a space station, and we're gonna go through conversations based on these post-it notes. All right. All right. Fair enough. Let's get... Captain, look. Okay, right. So I'll start, right? Right, mate. I, I don't know what we're gonna do here, right? We're stuck on a space station, and to make it worse, the pipes are blocked. So I've got some Mr. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I mean, do you know what I've heard is really good for unblocking pipes? So get Mr. Muscle, it's milk, it's really good at breaking down blockages and pipes. Milk? Milk. milk. Does yeah. that come with cardboard? What, to unblock pipes? Um, I mean, if it doesn't work, you can just take the leftover bits of cardboard and put it in my glasses case. Because <laughs> that could work quite well. It could work quite well. I watched a porno once about a glasses case. Uh, fuck what? it, I fucked up. Alright, can I we say I win that one then? Okay. Do you know what? I was trying to connect it to. So the other the other words I had on there to have a conversation about was two girls, one cup, which I was trying to connect a glasses case to, T Rex and the Ring of Power. I had, that. I had Crystal Skull. I'm going to do Peep Show. So I was gonna be, oh, the Crystal Skull. I was going to be like, well, before we continue, I need you to tell me you believe in Crystal Skulls. I Crystal Skulls, Christmas Tree, and Lemons. Fuck. So we're trapped in this spaceship. Do you know what's really good for Canadians? I've heard is using a pool cue. To just stab their eyes out? I would, but I feel really under the weather, so I'm going to try and find some cowpole. Cowpole? Oh, I feel I'm feeling great. I can just stay in guard because I've got a pretty handy laser rifle I could just use as well to uh, to blast the aliens in the face with. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I saw Bear Grylls use that once. What, a laser rifle? No, he, he didn't use it to kill anyone. He just taped it to his chest <laughs> and ran around with it. He didn't actually use it. I've seen him use tape on a, on a tent. <laughs> What? See, Bear Grylls used tape on it. On a tent. Oh, he's only sat down and just ate a bacon sandwich inside the tent. It was, <laughs> wasn't it? I remember that. Uh, he also had a cup of coffee with him, I think, along with a bacon sandwich. Didn't that coffee taste a bit weird? Like, he put some window cleaner in it or something? Not according to King Kong. <laughs> Not according to King Kong. I can't even. Con- I can't connect King Kong to that conversation. I'm fucked. Is, where's King Kong? It's your last one. Yeah. I'm f- all right, 2 0 then. <sighs> this could be the shittest game possible. It's alright. It's all I right. made it up on the spot. That's how I look. Go on, all right. Last round. You start off. Go on. Wow. Alright. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Mate, this spaceship 
It smells like cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not cat shit, mate. That's Godzilla. He's been shitting everywhere. That's what it is. Yeah. It's Godzilla shit. Godzilla? Yeah. Or Susan Boyle? <laughs> Susan Boyle? Fucking <laughs> hell. Well, do you know what's great for wiping up shit? Five pound notes. Just take it and just scoops up the shit. If you, if, it's, if it smells like cat shit, mate, take this five pound note and just use that. I had a friend once who stapled a load of five pound notes together using a stapler. Did he? Is that what he done with a stapler? He stapled them to himself. He didn't use a lead pipe to do that, did he? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. Right, 2-1, you can well, have right, that. Okay, I'll, I don't know if that was any good or not. Well, let the listeners decide. To that. Well, that was Captain Look, a little testy game there. 2-1. That was a trial me. game. Throw hurts. Talking rubbish. I like the uh, originality, mate. I like the originality. Oh, I thought about it on the spot of work during lockdown. Oh yeah, my it's god! Interesting, mate. It's interesting. I like it. See how it sounds <laughs> in the edit. Right. Talking about terrible games <laughs> on the back end of on the back end of Captain Look. Um, when you've been playing games. <laughs> so if you're, if you're still listening, thank you. Because I wouldn't be if I was a listener. Praise, <laughs> praise Jesus. <laughs> What's the scariest ever gaming experience you've ever had? Scariest game. So straight away, one that comes to mind is a game that was cancelled, but during its short life, they released the demo on the PS4. It was called... The game was called PT. PT. It stands for Playable Teaser. <laughs> the, demo, the demo for the new Silent Hills game. Yeah. With Norman Reedus. Oh, Norman. <laughs> Some people know Norman Reedus anyway. So, all right. Anyway, but uh, yeah, he so they got Norman Reedus on the side. PT. They released a demo. Scariest game I've played in my entire life. I think when you were around my house a couple of years ago, I think I got you to play it. So we walk through the corridor and it changes each time. Oh yeah, and no, I played that. I played that. It was like Silent Hill, wasn't it? Yeah, Maybe. that was that was that looks scary. Terrifying. Yeah, Silent Hill. Yeah. But they actually so Kojima left Konami and the game got dropped. Because he had the rights to it, something like that. But apparently, they're making a new Silent Hill game in a minute. I can only hope. But yeah, PT was so terrifying. Like I don't know what it was. You feel it? So atmospheric. Yeah. Mate, it's so good. Did you ever feel like? Do you feel? Because you, you you've out. got a better fear factor than me. I like horror. Right, yeah, that's what I mean. It really freaked me out though. Like I couldn't. For example, I was playing with the light off with headphones, and I had to take my headphones out because oh, I was just like, yeah. I was getting really uncomfortable. Totally. Very much a demo. As well, it's not even a full game, and people were not happy because it got cancelled. Demo's it really got good. a massive following. People were actually selling their PlayStations on eBay with their demo, with demo installed because the demo got taken off the store because the game got cancelled because Kojima left Konami. Really? That's it's got such a big following. Jesus, they actually Christ. had PS4s with it installed <clears> on <throat> eBay. You've played a completely different level of scary game to me. <laughs> like honestly, like so, do you know when you have to go into like a cave? in Skyrim oh my god that's the sort of like my heart starts to slowly beat faster and it's like but I um, I heard back back in the day I heard the ra- the sort of the rage about Dead Space oh Dead Space is good right and uh, I remember I was I thought oh my brother's played all three and he says they're really really good and I thought oh, I'm bored of shitless here Dead Space alright Aliens in space perfect right let's get the game on and the very beginning of Dead Space, you're talking to someone through the glass, and they're sort of they something breaks in, the lights turn off, and it starts like the the atmosphere starts to build up, right? And like the people in the in the room either escape or they die. I can't remember, but I vaguely remember. Basically, you're the first like interaction with the controller and the character mm. um, happens when this outbreak happens. I remember the aliens burst through the door. You don't see them yet. And honestly, again, like you, wearing the headphones, and you know me, Sam, I'm like, I can't control my muscles. I'm like, I'm like panicking. I'm like panicking. I'm trying, and I was like, all I could was just like screaming behind me. It's like proper screaming. And I didn't know what was happening. I couldn't see anything. So I, was, I decided to run towards this door, right? And I did the worst thing possible. As I could hear this noise, the worst thing you do is just turn around to look what's going on. Right, and I was running towards the door. And I turned around, and honestly, this thing in my face, like it was just like it looked, looked like a man screaming with blood all over him, and it was just running with all these tentacles. And I was like, 
if you can imagine that little kind of, uh, like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> I, I got through the door, right? The door closed behind me. I paused the game. Never played it again. Really? There was no way. Was this PS3? Or Xbox? Uh, I think it was. I think it was an Xbox game. Yeah, that was good. But uh, Xbox was good. No, I vaguely remember that bit. Do you know what? As well, another one I thought I mentioned. So my one of my favourite games of all time is uh, Silent Hill Two. Silent Hill, yeah. On PS Two. Back to Silent Hill again, yeah. But do you know what? When I was like a fourteen-year-old boy, that game freaked. It still does, but it freaked the shit out of me because it was so far ahead of its time in terms of like psychological horror. The first time you meet Pyramid Head, <laughs> tell you what, he's terrifying. The first time you see him in that game, you open like, a door in a hotel room and he's raping some mannequin. In front really? Of you. Yeah, mate. and I was like, oh my "What God. the hell?" He freaked the shit out of me. I was playing a game on my own. I had to pause it and run downstairs. I can't remember what it is. There's a game where there was a game where I can't remember what it was, but there was like a aborted baby in the sink. That's PT. Oh, was it? Oh, right. Is that okay. where you go into the kid and you hear a there's, crying there's, sound? And I think one time there's a kid in there that's actually alive with it. That's, is that PT? In the corridor, oh, I don't you know. go to the right. And yeah, and there's yeah. the dead baby. You hear a crying sound. Yeah, yeah. like a fetus in the, in the, in the, in the yeah, sink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's PT. Jesus. I think because I you go back through and it changes again. I think I watched people's reactions play it then. It's terrible. I didn't terrifying. play it myself. Pretty sure, I mean. The worst bit of that is near the end and you think you've done it. Basically, what makes it so scary is the whole demo is you going through a corridor continuously. Loop loop. Yeah, yeah. And it changes subtly each time. So after you've gone through the corridor three times, the alarm clock to the right is like frozen. Oh, I'm getting chills. Look. Look at my arm. Look at oh my arm. Oh my God. Honestly, it freaked me out so much. It's just so well done. Like the pictures change each time you go through the corridor, and after you go through the corridor like five six times, like, faces have been crossed out, and the room gets darker, and it goes, <laughs> mate, it's fucking terrifying. And there's a bit right near the end where this ghost woman like launches at you, and then the, the demo ends, and it, mate, oh, I'm getting chills. Look at my chills. Look at that. Freak me out so much, but it's so good. I'm though. never playing that. You should watch the go on YouTube, watch your playthrough. I don't know what it is, but. Especially little girls. Yeah, like they're freaky. I, I don't know what it is. Like I've never. It just the idea of it, man. And I tell you, the worst, what's worse than little girls is dolls, like China dolls in horror uh, films. So I, I had a. This is not game related, but I had a recurring dream as a yeah. kid. Honestly, do you know how vivid my memories of dreams I had as a kid? I, uh, my mum was. She was quite into her, like her religion, and. um she used to collect porcelain dolls, mm. right? Used to have them on the, um, it's like a music box, yeah. Like and um, there was one, and there was some in the cabinets, and there was one upstairs, um, in the corner of her room, right? And no matter how much I said to her, look, mum, as a little kid, like mum, can you? I was like, can you move the dolls? Because they're looking at me, <laughs> right? I I got freaked out by this doll, and the the one dream I remember, right? Honestly, even now, I'm just like, please have never had the dream again. So I was down upstairs in my living room, and I had to go upstairs and pick up the TV remote, the TV remote which was next to my mum's cabinet. <clears throat> See my dream, I go upstairs, whatever, I'm picking up the... And the, the TV remote is next to the doll in my dream, right? And for some reason in my dream, my, my, my mind made up that they were creating eggs. They, was, they were making eggs, right? They were breeding. Oh, the dolls? The dolls, right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I go upstairs, and you know how dreams are sort of, well, it all, all feels real. Anyway, I plug up the courage to go next to the doll. Big fucking doll. Bigger than a, a monitor. It's like massive. like <laughs> Bigger than a monitor. Like, like a TV monitor, like back in the day. <laughs> and um, I got the controller, and I went to head downstairs. And as I was heading downstairs, a little kid, I turned back around, looked diagonally up towards where I just came from, from the stairs. And it sort of curved at the top. Yeah. The stairs curved at the top. This is your, your old house? Yeah. I remember. And a doll flew down the stairs at me. <laughs> it, honestly, it was flying. It was like... <gasps> like, honestly, Sam. And it got to me and I blacked... And I obviously woke up. Oh, honestly, Sam. Even, even to this day. I think this is what... I'm such a pussy. I'm really... Pu- because, because, because of <laughs> my childhood and games and stuff. Man, I can't play games. You know, like I said, Skyrim caves are enough. Jesus. Yeah. But it sounds like that game you've played. A oh, PT is brilliant though. You should play it. I'm sure I set you up on it. You wouldn't. You wouldn't play it if yeah. I remember. Pretty good reason for that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know what it is. I think it's just it's quite thrilling, isn't it? Like getting scared. Is it? I, I, particularly nowadays, I, I, I find that games do it better than films. But I find most horror films now aren't scary. It's just jump scares and gore. But it's something about experiencing a game, like PT. Jesus. Resident Evil Seven, Resident Evil Two. Like, it's an example of like a modern horror game. That's, yeah, yeah. But it's really quite scary. It's not all jump scares. No, it's got to be creates a feeling of like dread. Horror that's not jump scares is better than horror that is. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's been so overused now. Anyway. Nice one. Right. To stop me having nightmares, then we need to move on. So, back by popular demand from episode two, I think, is Go On Then. Oh, okay. Go On All right. Then. This is the second Go On Then we're going to have. Okay. okay. And have you researched these categories at all? No, not That's at all. I've li- all right, literally, really. I've done this in five minutes. Hence, That's good. You might, have, you might, you could tell that from probably the Captain Look game. All right. <laughs> so, we're going to play Go On Then. So, just to remind everyone how it works, it's a bidding game yeah. it's a bidding process so as an example one of the questions last time was Premier League Strikers yeah. and if I think I can do 5 and Sam thinks he can do 6 I'd say 5 he'd say 6 and we begin the bidding yeah. and it goes up and up and up until someone says go on then and we challenge the person to name the amount of numbers they what believe they can do what a fantastic explanation yeah yeah, yeah. 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 alright so they're random topics I've tried to sort of relate it but we'll see how it goes <clears throat> Time for go on then. Game of Thrones survivors. First first names are fun. Three? Four. I was trying to think who dies and who survives, you know. This is not it's harder than you think. Yeah. Four. Go on then. Oh I was yeah. thinking, I wanted to say that to you. I was thinking, I think I can only name Sansa four. Stark. Yeah. Arya Stark. Yeah, Jon Snow. Yeah. Uh say something, Tom. Don't tell me all about the delay. We we'll give you ten seconds. Alright, Tormund. Ginger one. Yeah. Okay. He, 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 you know, sorry to bring it up again, you know he's got coronavirus. Does he really? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a running theme here with it coronavirus. It wasn't the White Walkers, it was coronavirus. Yeah. Okay, right, 1-0. Have you got five categories? Five categories. Okay, 1-0 right. to you. Bran as well. Oh, Bran, yeah, I forgot about that. But I have Everyone does. Didn't have more than five. Yeah, everyone forgets about Bran. Countries. You're good at geography, you <laughs> bastard. Beginning with S. Four? Five. Countries beginning with the letter K. I'm joking, S. <laughs> You're on five. I've gone for five. Five, you reckon? Go on then. Spain. Yeah. Syria. Yeah, that's two of mine. Scotland. Oh, I would ask you. Oh, I don't know. Is that a country? Scotland's a country. Technically, I guess. Well, I'm not happy about that one. Go on then. Three. I was bluffing that way. Sin. Two. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say Saudi Arabia, Spain, um, Sierra Leone, um, and Scotland. So you get a point, man. Because yeah. I, I tried and come on in one all. Right, what's the third one? It's Scotland. No, it is another country, but I always think right. it was part of the UK. But it is technically another country. So apocalypse films. So end of the world films. They could be. Oh. Anything to do with the end of the world. Five? Six. Seven? Go on then. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Okay, right. And we're allowed numbers, yeah? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Mad Max 1 to 3. Mad Max 4, Fury Road. Alright, fuck. Uh, I should said no. Book of Eli. The Road. Uh, Escape from New York. Um, a seven. There you go. No, that was good. I mean, things like Independence Day I was thinking of me for some reason. 28 Days Later. I mean, Mad Max Fury Road isn't really Mad Max 4. But Mad Max Fury yeah, Road. Yeah. Okay. Alright, right, so 2-1. Two two one. One. Come on, mate. Come on. Damn it, okay. So, mythological creatures. Oh, you picked all these. <laughs> you this, well, you, I only thought this one, this one is my one because you had, okay. you had Premier League last time. Right, so. Fair enough. Myth- Myth- mythological creatures. creatures. It can be from Norse, Egyptian, okay. Viking, whatever the fuck it is. I'll go six. Eight. Ten? Come on then. Fuck. Mythical creatures. Creatures. So, 
Do they include gods? No. Oh, Creatures, creatures like... Oh, I was thinking of like Zeus and shit. He's not a creature, he's a god. I was thinking of characters. Creatures. Creatures. Oh, I don't know if I can do this then. So I was thinking of like... I was thinking of like Aphrodite and Zeus. I'll have a go, I'll have a go. Alright, so... Okay, Hydra. One. Minotaur. Medusa. Jesus. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Accepted. So I'm thinking of gods and stuff as well. Yeah, it's just still counting down, by the way. So can, I, can I say, like, Anubis? Because yeah. he's God, but he's also... Uh, that's what I mean. It's, it's not clear. No, All okay. Right. All right. I'm not allowed him, because he's a god. He's not really a creature. No, I've lost this. I'll have a go, though. So Medusa. Right. Said that. Fucking... I've got Medusa. I've got Hydra. <laughs> I've got the Minotaur. Yeah, I think time's up. And that's it. Because so I was, right. was going to reel off those of, gods. I was thinking of Cyclops, yeah. Cerberus, Harpies, fucking giants. <laughs> fucking giants? <laughs> I was going to reel off like Greek gods and stuff. <clears throat> right, right. Right. It's the right. decider. Right, right, right. It's the decider. This one we're equal on. Rick and Morty characters. I'm shit with names at this. <coughs> so. I'll go three. Four. Rick and Morty. <laughs> you have four. Go on then, I'll let you have four. Go on. Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Two more for the win. Jerry. That was my three. Oh, fuck, it was the sister's name. Five. Oh fuck. Three. I can't fucking remember. Squirrels? The squ- squatching. Oh, fuck. Cog, gear cog. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, oh Mr. Poopy Butthole. Mr. Poopy Butthole, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just that time, man. Summer. Just that summer, yeah. Right. Go squirrels! Actually, squanch. Squatch in here! <laughs> hey, I'm squatching here. Squatching here. Oh my god. Oh, well, it's, it's eventful. <laughs> That's pretty good, mate. Yeah. Shame we lost, but three two to you. I think it was three two last time, wasn't it? To you? No, you, no, you won last time. Did we? Because you, okay. you you won in the Premier League one. That was good, mate. Right. That, was, that was a good little quiz. Good categories. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening to episode six of the SNT podcast. Yeah. Let us know what you thought about Captain Look. Yeah. We'll throw it in the bin next week. I think. I'm sorry you had to go through that, everyone. Um, please continue to follow us on Instagram and Spotify. And we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.